This week we were all stunned by those images, that massive landslide in Washington State, 50 miles north of Seattle. You see part of the hillside there just smashing into Puget Sound, damaging dozens of homes. But the one home that was completely destroyed sit at the foot of the hill, and we're learning more tonight about the 82-year-old man who was inside as that hillside came crashing in. Tonight, his miraculous escape. Again here, ABC's Neil Karlinski from Washington State. Life along a razor's edge with catastrophe. Days after the massive slide, the hillside remains unstable. I think many people would wonder, if you thought you would lose part of your bluff, why are you living here? <laughs> well, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And the, the probability of the whole bluff going seems so small. The only home destroyed by the landslide is owned by 82-year-old John Etheridge. He didn't want to be seen on camera, but says at 3 a.m. he could feel the surreal sensation of his house sliding off its foundation. I went to the back door and it was stiff. So I turned the lock and then I kicked the door open because this day, you know, it would be today. There was an early clue the bluff was weakening. Neighbors say a road below buckled severely just one day earlier. It's a classic warning sign. Even now, you can still feel small slides and the very occasional sharp crack of movement. The lawn behind me here used to go out another 60 feet. When a landslide strikes, the sound is as scary as the sight. Geologists say Whidbey Island is especially at risk because of its steep hillsides made up of loose sand and gravel. We were going to put the house up for sale next week. Oh my I goodness. think the devaluation has gone down. No one's been hurt, but the cost of this view can no longer be measured because geologists can't guarantee when it will be on the move again. Neil Karlinski, ABC News, Whidbey Island, Washington.